Welcome to Section 2 Biology, Cells. Here are the objectives which you can read about later on. Let us now begin with today's lesson. Close your eyes and picture a brick wall. What is the basic building block of that wall? It is a single brick, of course. Like a brick wall, your body is composed of basic building blocks, and the building blocks of your body are cells. A cell is the smallest unit of a living thing. A living thing, like you, is called an organism. Thus, cells are the basic building blocks of all organisms. Like prokaryotes, eukaryotic cells have a plasma membrane made up of a phospholipid bilayer with embedded proteins that separates the internal contents of the cell from its surrounding environment. A phospholipid is a lipid molecule composed of two fatty acid chains, a glycerol backbone, and a phosphate group. The plasma membrane regulates the passage of some substances, such as organic molecules, ions, and water. The cytoplasm comprises the contents of a cell between the plasma membrane and the nuclear envelope, a structure to be discussed shortly. It is made up of organelles suspended in the gel-like cytosol, the cytoskeleton, and various chemicals. Typically, the nucleus is the most prominent organelle in a cell. The nucleus houses the cell's DNA in the form of chromatin, and directs the synthesis of ribosomes and proteins. The outermost boundary of the nucleus is the nuclear envelope. Mitochondria are often called the powerhouses or energy factories of a cell, because they are responsible for making adenosine triphosphate, ATP, the cell's main energy-carrying molecule. The formation of ATP from the breakdown of glucose is known as cellular respiration. The cell wall is a rigid covering that protects the cell, provides structural support, and gives shape to the cell. Fungal and protist cells also have cell walls. While the chief component of prokaryotic cell walls is peptidoglycan, the major organic molecule in the plant cell wall is cellulose, a polysaccharide made up of long straight chains of glucose units. Like mitochondria, chloroplasts also have their own DNA and ribosomes. Chloroplasts function in photosynthesis and can be found in eukaryotic cells such as plants and algae. In photosynthesis, carbon dioxide, water, and light energy are used to make glucose and oxygen. Vesicles and vacuoles are membrane-bound sacs that function in storage and transport. Vacuoles are somewhat larger than vesicles, and the membrane of a vacuole does not fuse with the membranes of other cellular components. Vesicles can fuse with other membranes within the cell system. Additionally, enzymes within plant vacuoles can break down macromolecules. Prokaryotic DNA is found in the central part of the cell, a darkened region called the nucleoid. Unlike archaea and eukaryotes, bacteria have a cell wall made of peptidoglycan, comprised of sugars and amino acids, and many have a polysaccharide capsule. The cell wall acts as an extra layer of protection, helps the cell maintain its shape, and prevents dehydration. The capsule enables the cell to attach to surfaces in its environment. Some cells contain aggregates of macromolecules surrounded by membranes, these are called organelles. Organelles are small structures that exist within cells and perform specialized functions. All living things are made of cells. The cell itself is the smallest fundamental unit of structure and function in living organisms. Some organisms consist of a single cell and others are multicellular. Cells are classified as prokaryotic or eukaryotic. Prokaryotes are single-celled organisms that lack organelles surrounded by a membrane and do not have nuclei surrounded by nuclear membranes. In contrast, the cells of eukaryotes do have membrane-bound organelles and nuclei. In most multicellular organisms, cells combine to make tissues, which are groups of similar cells carrying out the same function. Organs are collections of tissues grouped together based on a common function. Organs are present, not only in animals, but also in plants. An organ system is a higher level of organization that consists of functionally related organs. For example, vertebrate animals have many organ systems, such as the circulatory system, that transports blood throughout the body, and to and from the lungs. It includes organs such as the heart and blood vessels. Organisms are individual living entities. For example, each tree in a forest is an organism. Single-celled prokaryotes and single-celled eukaryotes are also considered organisms, and are typically referred to as microorganisms. Thank you. Next video movement across membranes.